Hello everyone, this is ASMR today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you industrial photography editing and the preset that is the free preset and I'll give you that preset in my video description the download link and let's see what will be the output this at first after adding the preset and then the color lookup after adding and then the gradient map and then the levels so you're getting that this type of shiny picture and it will be more amazing than the previous so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification so i'm just closing, closing this one go to the file and open up this one is my raw or non-edited image and this photographic edit goes to Ahad Jibon and Monju and they got this picture from the Bangla Cat warehouse from Bangladesh so I'm just editing this one for them and you guys you know that uh, always I do give you the preset free of cost for your photography editing purpose so at first just make copy by pressing ctrl j the backup layer just because of backup purpose not other things so just here go to the filter and camera filter if you are user of the creative cloud version then you are getting this cc that means the camera of preset or camera filter in by default otherwise we have to install it manually so from here you can edit this one manually but i have a preset and you can use that preset here is the option go to the load settings options and here is the photography and hit the open you're getting this type of effects here is lots of assumption if you need you can change the color and other stuffs suppose if you need you can change the curved or tone curves and here is the sharpness if you need to change the sharpening like uh, amount of sharpening or detailing or luminance of noise reduction whatever and here is the hsl panel this one is the most effective and important thing in this panel just because of here is the color why i just make the sky like uh, faded just because of i want to highlight the product here is the product is the excavator machine that's why i just made it uh, like a uh, shiny here the saturation that's why the orange color i make it like uh, 93 percent and the luminance as well plus 61 percent so it depends on your product that means uh, what kind of product you are using uh, if you want to highlight your product uh, if you want to just make your product shiny then you have to make it more shiny or luminous and the saturation will be high and the ambient that means the background it could be like low light or desaturated then your product will be popped up so here is another options the split toning and here is the effects options from here i just add some little bit vignetting and here and the camera calibration from here the primary red color primary green color primary blue blue color i just made the setup like that primary red was plus 30 and the primary green plus 16 and primary blue i just little bit down this one just because of it will be more amazing color for this primary blue color and then hit the ok button you are getting far difference between the previous the before one and after one so after that i have to make here some the gradient map so go to the adjustment layer and here is a gradient map from here choose this one violet orange and then here is the color options and select here change the color mode like a little bit like greenish type suppose this one is the color code 0a5952 and hit the ok button and hit ok and then just go to the blending mode and make it soft light but you need to just down the opacity you can make it 13 degree you can make it 13 only the opacity so after that go to the adjustment layer again and go to the levels from here you have to make it increase the light just because of here is the light is main for your product so a little bit up and then go to the gradient options and take the gradient and select this gradient like this and just make it down just because of in this muddy area down highlighting so that's why i'm just making it like this so for that your product will be highlighted and hit the ok button select these three or four layers make it group 
and make it merge and after merging that go to the filter and the nick collection and color effects pro this nick collection is another plugins of the photoshop if you need this download link please check out my video description and give the download link over there and this one is free of cost so it's loading and uh, it depends on your pc configuration of loading time if your pc configuration is high then it will take less time to load it up and here i'm using the cross processing this one this filter and here is lots of methods and you can use uh, lots of methods from here if you make it like this or this or whatever you want so you have to choose your like a perfect tone or perfect method from here so and then here is the strength option i am just making it like a little bit nine percent that's fine for me and hit the ok button and it will take time to load it up and give you the final output so let's wait about that it's saving this image okay let's see the before one this one is the ordinary image and normal image but after using your effect and using my policy you are getting this type of shiny effect so i think you learn a lot from this tutorial if you did please thumbs up and hit the bell icon and hit the subscribe button and today i'm just asmr signing out and bye bye